This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Today on Film Riot, we replace the sky. Welcome to Film Riot Mondays. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. Today, of all day days, we will answer this fine lad's Twitter question. Hey Ryan, I love the show. I was just wondering if you could cover some sky replacement as it would be great for my zombie film. And I got this email as well. I want to do a surreal sort of shot where I can adjust the background separate from my actor. Thoughts? I got some thoughts, all kinds of them actually. Some would make you blush, some would educate you, and some would threaten national security. Okay, so. Sky replacement can be done a few ways, but the easiest way and best results for me has always been the one I'm about to show you in a second. Okay, here we go. The original shot without the sky replacement looks like this, ugly and boring, like Josh. When shooting outside, it can be very difficult to expose properly. No, nothing, you're not gonna defend yourself, you're just gonna leave it? I mean, I'm used to it. Oh, that makes me feel bad. Let me do this again. The original shot without the sky replacement looks like this, ugly and boring, unlike Josh. When shooting outside, it can be very difficult to expose properly for both your actor and the sky. If you get lucky and the right light hits, it can look awesome, but it's not something you can really control or anticipate. So, if you get into your edit and the footage looks like this, fret not. Correcting it, it's easier than you think. For me, all I did was duplicate my footage, then desaturate that clip and add levels. Next, adjust the sky until it's completely blown out and the rest is all black. Now my image isn't going to be completely black everywhere else, but that's okay since I can just mask that out, then create a black solid and put it below my clip to fill out the rest. Now I'll pre-comp the solid and the duplicated clip, then bring in a picture of the sky that I like for this, and I'll put that below the pre-comp layer. Now I'll click track mat and select luma mat, and the sky layer will now only show through the shape of the white we created. But now it just looks ridiculous, but that's okay because we're not done. Next I'll duplicate my background footage and darken it, and then add a square mask and feather it so that the sky is a bit darker than the ground. Then I'll drop the opacity of my clip and position it how I want it. Now I just add my overall color correction and ta-da. Here's the before, and here is the after. But wait, Ryan, where is Josh? Excellent question, dear viewer. I actually shot him on a green screen, but still in the same environment so that I could key him out perfectly, but still have it completely separate from the background so that I could add whatever weird and surreal images I want to the clip like this. The reason it's important to shoot the green screen footage in the same area as the background footage is so you get the exact same light so it fits perfectly together when you key. But there you go. One answer for two questions. Bazama Jam 2011. The police will be out in force nationwide from August 19th to September 5th in a nationwide effort to crack down on impaired driving. Don't put yourself and others in danger or risk the terrible legal repercussions. Drive sober or get pulled over. Here's an interesting piece of info about the impact of drunk driving. On average, 31% of people involved in fatal crashes on the weekends are alcohol impaired. Which every time we do these reads and we give these numbers, I'm always flabbergasted at how high they're. Like really, there's that many people out there that are that stupid? Really? Plus, I mean, why are you that hammered anyway? I mean, don't you want to remember what you did the weekend? Isn't that the point of having fun so you can remember it and create memories? That way on Monday, you're like, dude, I did this and this and this on the weekend. You're like, what'd you do? And he's like, I don't even know. I have such a headache. And then you're like, did you drive home? And he's like, yeah. And then poof, out the window. It's only the second floor, he only broke a few bones, but now he knows. Record numbers of state and local law enforcement and highway safety officials across the nation will be taking part and they will be looking for drunk drivers day and night and making the road safer for the rest of us who remember what we did on the weekend. So do yourself a favor, drive sober or get pulled over. Logo. In the film industry, there are a lot of different terms thrown around and if you ever find yourself on set and don't know a few, you may end up looking like an idiot or a stupid person or an individual who's not educated. I think you get it. So to solve that, let's learn you some lingo. First word today is practical. A practical is any light on set that's seen in camera and belongs there. For instance, a lamp. Cinematographers will either use a practical to help light the scene or put a low enough wattage bulb in the lamp to expose for camera and use it as motivation for their lighting. 
Next word, playa. Last looks is something that the first AD will call out to signal that the shot is about to happen. This means wardrobe and makeup needs to take their last look at the actors to make sure everything is ready and all other departments are now on standby because they're about to go. On to the last word of today. Honey wagon. This one's kind of funny, actually. A honey wagon is actually just a moving porter potty for the set. The name is supposedly comes from uh, when they used a honey bucket back in the day when there was no toilet. Gross and hilarious. Honey wagon. And that's your lingo for today. Logo. So that's it. We are Audi 5000 and one. But you know the drill. If you want to connect with me, you can do so on my Twitter or Facebook. And I will see you loverlies on Thursday. So until then, stay safe and watch good films. I love land.